Now let's say you've got four wheels and you don't really want to go through and flip all these wheels one at a time. That'd be silly. You really want to do it with one switch. Um, the way we're going to accomplish that in this moment is going to be a variant of variants. So their common parent would be wheels, which is where I have the wheel pose at. So I'm going to edit variants on it. I'm going to collapse wheel pose because I don't need it. I'm going to make a new variant set and I'm going to call it rim type. And I'm going to call option one rim one. We're coming right back full circle to where we began with the wheels and everywhere where that is on the, the prims. I'm just going to drag those prims into here, making sure that rim one on rim type is my active variant. And I'm going to look for the variant set in the properties. And there I go. I have a local opinion, which as we know by now, I don't want that in this case. So I'm going to neutralize it. And same thing for the other wheels. There we go. Got rid of those. Now I need, just need to make my other options. So I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to rename to rim2. And I'll just change all these to rim2. I'm going to duplicate this to make rim3. And just walk down the list. Take note that I put this as close in the hierarchy as I possibly could. This helps with performance. And then now we have our variant of variance, and we have it right alongside our reversed <laughs> wheels settings. I got my directionality wrong, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and fix that for the completed file.